hello everybody welcome back to the channel it is your girl angel baby and i am back with another video please make sure you like subscribe and you want to hit that notification bell so that way anytime i drop a video you will be notified and also everything in this video is either alleged my thoughts and opinion and or my perception seems as if miss angela white aka black china is explaining and opening up her involvement in the wendy williams documentary y'all and why this documentary needed to be made now black china is saying that her participation in this documentary was totally unplanned now black china she sat down with et news alongside with amber rose and chef bruno serrato and they were there to commemorate the 10th million meal served to underprivileged children wow that is so amazing that's one thing i do like about black china she's always giving and helping others so i really love that about her so in this interview that's when black china she kind of got into the emotional journey of supporting wendy williams um, during her time of need so black china is saying that she just went over to wendy williams house right and she was like it was just spontaneous so she was like imagine my surprise when i get there and i see the camera crew there and them actually running while me and wendy is having this conversation now black china she wanted to emphasize and let people know that her and wendy williams connection is genuine it's genuine love and it's way beyond all this camera and tv stuff and as we all know at first there was a lot of friction between black china and wendy williams you know because wendy used to always talk about black china on her show and her mom but through all of that it blossomed into a genuine bond of mutual respect and admiration says black china she also said she was like this lady is seriously attacking me and then she was like okay so she, black china was like i'm gonna go on her show and once i go on her show she gonna meet me and we're probably gonna end up being friends and we're gonna probably chill and she's just gonna see that all that negative stuff that she says about me really isn't true and that's exactly what happened and this is a perfect example of like when people talk stuff about you just keep moving moving in your actions and you can show them more in your actions than in your words and wendy saw that all these things that she was saying about black china obviously was not true not only was it not true but she met up with black china and she was like this could be the home girl so black china said that they were sitting on the set her and wendy on that little purple couch and wendy just leaned over and was like hey i have your number she was like let's go to dinner tonight black china was just like okay then Brent wendy was like let's go to brunch she was like okay so black china said they ordered so much food and they had a great time and she said that's when she really realized that she really liked wendy williams and the feeling was mutual because after that wendy she stopped talking about black china she addressed or claimed black china as her friend also wendy williams was on a podcast and somebody asked her something about black china and it was like some personal information and it was messy and wendy williams went on to say i will not be talking about her she is my friend and she is my real friend and i do not talk about my real friends and that was very shocking to me because i had never ever heard wendy williams say that now, in that sit-down interview with E.T., Black China also goes on to say, even though she was in that documentary, she said she did not watch the whole thing. She said she only seen, like, certain clips. And she said she's the type of person that if she sees more, then she's going to need more, like, information. She's going to start digging stuff up, and then she's going to want to get to the bottom of certain things. So, basically, she doesn't want to just open a can of worms because... She just, she just doesn't want to deal with it. So basically what she's saying is whatever is supposed to be for her will be for her. She don't need to go looking for nothing. Which for me was like an odd thing to say. And the reason being, okay, is because Black China initially said that 
this documentary needed to happen. Well, if the documentary needed to happen, what are you scared to look at? What are you scared to look at? It doesn't make any sense to me. And besides, when Wendy, she showed her feet, took off her wig, you seen it all. You might as well watch the whole thing. But Black China said that this documentary was necessary because it's shedding light on Wendy Williams' struggles, including her battle with alcoholism, which was drawing parallels to her own experience. And so, and also with the mental health and addiction, um, just a lot of people can relate to that. Black China has been in recovery and she did celebrate her one year of being sober in September. So congratulations to Black China. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's why she didn't want to watch the documentary because she could possibly be triggered. But maybe she should have just said that. I think maybe she was probably just embarrassed to say that. But to say that you don't want to look at it because you don't want to basically look at the whole situation of what it really is. That's not a good thing to say. Girl, where's your PR person? There was a lot of people that was upset behind the documentary, how everything was being portrayed and how everybody was just sitting back enabling Wendy Williams. Nobody was getting her any help and it just seemed like she was declining. You could literally see the decline in her uh, mental, physical. It just wasn't a good thing to watch, you know, people sitting back and doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. And as far as Wendy Williams now and how she's doing, last time we heard she was checked into a treatment facility for several reasons, including cognitive issues, um, her battle with alcoholism. So yeah, we haven't really heard anything about Wendy. Wendy Williams was also recently diagnosed with frontal temporal dementia and aphasia. And Black China expresses how important it is um, for people to have compassion toward her friend and um, the importance of understanding and supporting individuals that face similar challenges. Well, she need to tell that to her mama, Tokyo Tony. Because according to Tokyo Tony, this is all Hollywood. Wendy Williams is just acting. This is part of a script. She's not really sick. Her money is not really tied up into Wells Fargo. So yeah, you really need to be telling your mom to have compassion. I'm just saying. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I really want to know your guys' thoughts and opinion on this whole situation. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time. Bye, guys. Go, 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 yeah.